St. Stephen's High School was started in 1917. At that time, the church, St. Stephen's Church, it was under the priest Reverend Studley, under Bishop Brent. And at that time, the Chinese members of the church, they realized that there is a need for education for the women, for the girls. So we started out with 19 girls in the living room of our uh, pastor's wife. And that was how we started. So Mrs. Studley taught English, and it was Mrs. Ko Guatua who taught the Chinese. This is St. Stephen's High School, and this is our profile. This is a Christian school, so we introduce the love of Christ. Our teachers come here to serve the Lord. During my days, we have the American missionary helping out in the school. So we are more Western-oriented compared to the other Chinese Filipino school. We have a very good Christian value in uh, St. Stephen High School. That's molded us to be a honest and integrity people and good businessmen. Uh, with my education from St. Stephen High School, I have become uh, well, in qualities of diligent, honest, and especially treating with uh, people like alumni so that I began to know what is life for, and I become more, especially on my own self, that I become more successful. We make Chinese learning fun, relevant. We also uh, set aside periods like they have conversational Chinese, they really have to speak Mandarin, and we also set aside periods for, it, for them to read, read Chinese uh, materials for fun, for pleasure. Right now, I am with several Sufinians who will show me what life in St. Stephen is like. What do you think makes you most proud of being a Stephenian? I'm proud because this year, we are celebrating our 100-year anniversary. So I'm proud that our school is able to go through all the, the hardships and challenges in life. So you're proud that your school has lasted a century. Oh, that's a, that's a good thing. How about for you? I'm proud of my school because I know I have a good education here because my mother was an alumna and I want to have Good education, like her. Good education, a oh, great answer. How about you, Sean? It makes me proud of being a student in Stephen High School because that I know I'm a part of a school that develops award-winning students. Okay, how about for you, Joy? Mm, I'm proud of my school because they train us to be a school after God's own heart and to be um, a lighthouse in the community that we can show and tell the world of our faith and what our beliefs in. How about for you? Uh, I'm proud of that school because it has been producing well-rounded students for a hundred years already. Hundred years? Which mm -hmm. also contributes to the community and the country. Well-rounded in terms of? Many subjects. Our teachers are very much aware that we are dealing with the digital natives. So we try to use like technology to inspire them, to motivate them to learn. And we're so happy because the students who are under computer class, under programming, they quickly were able to, to create their own products. They were able to create parts for the robotics class. the founding member of the WNCAA and so you could see that ever since we're we really are into sports as well we believe that it's not just a physical development but even the mental the brain development and even how you deal with other people and even the self-discipline that comes when you engage in sports Speaking of sports, I am joined today by the men's and women's volleyball teams of St. Stephen High School. Hello, girls and boys. Hi. Hi. First off, let me start with 
getting to know you guys. Um, I just want a glimpse of your day. How difficult is it to be a student athlete in St. Stephen? Um, we only not study English, but we also study in Chinese. So, taxing siya. And like, yung dalawang subjects na yun. Tapos, meron pang training na wabot pa minsan ng 8 o'clock. Ah. Yeah. How about for you? Well, for me, halos same. Uh, Chinese and English, it's parang mahirap talaga siya. Pero, kaya naman. So, tapos may dagdag pang trainings and late umuuwi. Uh -huh. I feel ko, it's all about time management naman. around 1989, late 90s, we started our learning center. And this is for the financially challenged people, the children in our community. So we provide free education. We provide free materials, free uniforms. So we have already produced policemen, teachers, and they come back and be the. Some of them are like the children of the informal settlers, or you know, but the, the the people here, and they are the ones who would inspire these younger children to do their best. We also have free clinic, so every year, every year, the the free clinic is they have free consultation with doctors. They have free dental extraction, they have free reading glasses, they have free medicines, and we even have some good uh, foods for them, food shop for them. These past two years of the Alumni Association is setting up chapters abroad. No? Uh, they have quite a few chapters in the States, and the latest is the one in Taiwan. No? A lot of the, the alumni who migrated abroad has come back for the celebration. No? Our school molded us with good Christian value, with high English and Chinese education, and a very strict uh, discipline. We have been standing for 100 years now, and hopefully, compared to other schools who did not stand to be that long, and thinking that we will have another 100 years to come. The fact that it had existed and still soaring high at 100 years old, it makes me very proud. I'm also a Safinian. I studied here before. And uh, I would say that we have people who are dedicated. The Safinian legacy of selfless dedication had been evident ever since until now. And uh, we're very proud because Safinians, wherever they are, they shine for the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Dr. Judy Gotan, Wu Wei Xiao Zhang. Proud to be a Sufinian. And this is our profile. <laughs> <laughs>